good morning students we'll start with the today's lecture okay in the previous lecture we have seen the uh, necessary conditions for stability and we have solved few numericals based on that then we have seen in the previous class we have studied the root stability criterion right it is an algebraic criteria or mathematical method in order to judge the stability of the given system right so please keep in the mind it is a mathematical technique right it is algebraic criteria right in which uh, we can use that root stability criteria in order to judge the stability of the given control system right okay and we will solve few numericals based using the root stability criterion then what are the difficulties or special cases that are involved in the formulation of the root table we will see it so we call it as difficulty one and difficulty two or special case one and special case two and we will be solving few numericals based on that also all right okay we will take up this uh, numerical the characteristic equation of a servo system is given by b0 s power 4 plus b1 s cube plus b2 s square plus b3 s plus b4 equal to 0 determine the conditions which must be satisfied by the coefficients of the characteristic equation for the system to be stable right okay we will see what are the conditions uh, that must be satisfy the coefficients so first we will form the root area root table right so we will form the root area or root table root array also called as root table okay first i just observe the all the powers of s are present are s power 4 s cube 3 2 1 0 yes all the powers of s are present and all the coefficients are there just list it out s power of s s power 4 s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 okay yes first in the first row we have to fill up the odd term coefficients odd term is first term third term and fifth term so odd term coefficients are b naught the next b2 the next b4 and observe that b4 is a constant term right okay next uh, next second row we have to fill the even term coefficients even term means second term fourth term right so b1 after b1 it is b3 okay we have filled up the first row and second row third row we have to calculate this element so in order to calculate this element b1 into b2 so i will write it here b1 into b2 minus b3 into b0 or b0 into b3 whatever it is right b3 into b0 divided by b1 so this will give me this value then next if i want to calculate this so this i already had told this before is a constant term it will come diagonally so leave come here like this and this before will come here if you calculate you will get before only right just i'll change the ink and i just i'll mark it so that uh, right so always before it will be diagonal right like this so constant if you calculate also you will get before only just you can calculate just i will show you how it will come just to see here so if i want to calculate this element so leave this row so b1 into b4 just i am writing here by the side b1 into b4 minus nothing is there here means i can take it zero b0 into zero minus b0 into zero is zero divided by b1 so if i calculate i will be getting before only right so no need to calculate this right constant term. next we will see how to calculate this element right question mark so this into this minus b1 into b4 divided by this in order to calculate this just observe once again i will repeat this element into b3 minus this element into b1 b4 divided by this entire thing so i will be doing it by the side here so let me do it by the side and write uh, the element here so b1 b2 minus b3 b0 divided by b1 this into b3 into b3 minus b1 b4 divided by this entire thing divided by this entire thing so b1 b2 minus b3 b0 divided by b1 please if any doubts are there please unmute yourself and talk to me so that i can clarify your doubts immediately don't keep the doubts with you right so this element into this element this we have done minus b1 into b4 divided by this element that we have done so we will simplify it so if i take lcm as b1 and so b1 b1 will get cancelled 
so let me write it b1 sorry b1 b2 minus b3 b0 into b3 minus right b1 square b1 square into b4 is it fine divided by b1 b1 will get cancelled so what i will be getting b1 b2 minus b3 b0 so let me write this entire term here so b1 b2 minus b3 b0 into b3 minus b1 square into b4 whole divided by b1 b2 minus b3 b0 oh yes not don't no need to calculate this anyhow we will get constant term b4 only right so right so diagonal b4 will be constant and it is s power 0 right fine so we have found the root area root table is fine next so determine the conditions for which which must be satisfied by the coefficients of the characteristic coefficient for the system to be stable uh, we have right we have formed the root area root table we should concentrate only on the elements which are in the first column these are the elements which are in the first column right all should be positive right greater than zero so that the system will be stable so we have to put the condition right so one by one we'll put the condition here so first b not anyhow the first element will be greater than zero always right so no need to put that but let me write no problem b not is greater than zero then b1 should be greater than zero then next this one this element should be greater than zero so denominator is there let me take that zero that side so i'll take only numerator b1 b2 minus b3 b0 should be greater than zero b1 b2 minus b3 b0 should be greater than zero this b1 will go that side means it will be zero right next this element should be greater than zero so denominator will vanish so what i'll be getting so b1 b2 minus b3 b0 into b3 minus b1 square into b4 should be greater than zero this is the condition then last element b4 is there so this b4 element should be also be greater than zero so these are the conditions the what are the conditions for the system to be stable the all the elements in the first column of the root array should be positive greater than zero so we have put the conditions so b0 should be greater than zero b1 should be then this element should be greater than zero and this element should be greater than zero first element second element third element fourth element and fifth element so all these elements should be greater than zero for the system to be stable so right so these are the conditions for the system to be stable for the system to be stable i hope you understood right all the elements in the first column of the root array should be greater than zero or positive for the system to be stable if any doubts please ask right problem is over next yes next we'll solve few more numericals based on the root criteria right okay by means of uh, root criteria determine the stability of the systems represented by the following characteristic equations right uh, five characteristic equations are given a b c d e for systems found to be unstable determine the number of roots of the characteristic equation in the right half of the s plane if suppose the system is unstable then we have to find out how many roots are lying in the right half of the s plane right that we'll see one by one so and here i have given the answers here for a b c d so what i will be doing i will do part a part b and part e c and d is homework please you take it c is homework and d is also homework so these two you take it as homework all right the next i will solve a b and e so part a let me take part a so let me go to the next slide so let me write that question s to the power of 5 plus s power 4 plus 24s cube plus 48s square minus 25s minus 5 equal to 0 let me verify right s power 5 plus s power 4 plus 24s cube 
plus 48 a square minus 25 s minus 5 equal to 0. First one, this one I have taken, right? Okay. Yes, we will solve this. But just observe all the powers of s are present s power 5, s power 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yes, all the powers of s are present. No term is missing. Then observe the coefficients. Yes, the coefficient of this, you can observe here the s power 1 term, it is minus negative and the constant term is also negative so a necessary condition fails because these coefficients are zero right coefficient of s power 1 and s power 0 s power 1 and s power 0 are negative right so necessary condition fails necessary condition fails so given system is so system, given system is unstable given system is unstable okay but what they have asked find out the number of roots lying in the right of the s plane if they are stable or not means over it is unstable no need to go for proving the sufficient condition means i no need to form the root array or by sol or solving the roots of the characteristic equation so uh, necessary condition fails so given system is unstable right Okay, but they are asking to find out the number of roots that are lying in the right of the S-plane. So, we will form the root array or root table, right? Root table or root array, whatever it is, you call it as, right? So, we will serve to S power 5, S power 4, S cube, S square, S power 1, S power 0. So, list out all this. Yes, first write down the odd term coefficients uh, coefficients 1 24 1 just uh, i am writing far up a little bit apart so that uh, uh, in order to get the calculated element space will be there 1 24 next minus 25 right then next minus 5 so this is minus 5 please keep in the mind this is a constant term the constant term will come diagonally like this no need to calculate then next fill up this second row first row is over fill up the second row using u and term coefficients one the coefficient of s power 4 is one the coefficient of s square is 48 then the coefficient of uh, last constant term right oh, sorry one minute i have made some mistake here odd term is here this one 24 minus 25 and this this should not come observe please i have made a mistake see only odd term first term third term uh, fifth term it is even term so i should not write please don't make such mistakes so what i have made then write down the even term second term coefficient is one fourth term coefficient is 48 uh, sixth term coefficient is minus five it has this is the constant term please keep in the mind right this is the constant term then next we will try to fill up the s cube row i want to calculate this if any doubts are there please unmute so that i will clarify your doubts okay we want to calculate this element what is this element so 1 into 24 let me write it here 1 into 24 minus 1 into 48 1 into 48 divided by 1 this one this one right divided by 1 so we'll calculate this how much we are going to get so 1 into 24 minus 48 so i am getting minus 24 right so right let me write it here minus 24 next we want to calculate this element right so so leave this column above so 1 into minus 25 1 into minus 25 minus open bracket 1 into minus 25 and then minus of 1 into minus 5 1 into minus 5 whole divided by 1 this one so we'll calculate this so minus 25 minus into minus it is plus 5 into 5 so I am getting minus 20 here, minus 20. And I want to calculate, see here, observe here, the another uh, 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 rule I will tell you. See, in first row there are three elements, in second row there are three elements. So next, three, three, always it will be three, three, next two elements, next two elements will come here, next one, one. Observe the root array, the beauty of root array is just observe, there is, so two, three elements, three elements, next two elements are there in s cube row so in s square also two elements next one element one element three three two two one one so no one don't get for calculation of this element right so where is the third element only two elements will be there right 
okay if you want to calculate also you can calculate if you want to calculate this leave this above row 1 into 0 if you can take 0 1 into 0 minus 1 into 0 divided by 1 once again you will get 0 right don't do that so three elements three elements next two elements 2 1 1 like this so you will calculate this element uh, minus 24 into 48 minus 24 into 48 uh, minus of 1 into minus 20 minus of 1 into minus 20 divided by minus 24 i am calculating this element right this element so we'll see minus 24 into 48 minus 24 into 48 minus 21 minute minus 24 into 48 close bracket minus into minus it is plus 1 into 20 20 calculate this then divided by minus 24 so i'll be getting 47 point this entire thing after calculation i will getting minus 47 point 167 167 okay next we'll calculate this element so in order to calculate this element leave this above row right so minus let me write it so leave this above row so minus 24 into minus 5 minus 24 into minus 5 minus of see earlier i am leaving this minus 24 into minus 5 if nothing is there you can append 0 here so 1 into 0 minus 1 into 0 no need to write but just for convenience divided by minus 24 so we will calculate this element so minus into minus it is plus 24 let me open the bracket 24 into 5 uh, it is minus 0 only right so 24 into 5 means only 5 will get right no need to calculate this because already i told this is constant and right minus 5 so it will come horizontally minus 5 only no need to calculate all no, no need of doing this because you can see here just i will show you so right then next this i will fill up first so minus 5 only i will get here right let me take this reading minus 5 so i will not calculate this also three elements three elements two elements two elements next one element will be coming here we will calculate this so let me write it minus 47 point 167 into minus 20 minus of open bracket minus 24 into minus 5 minus 24 into minus 5 divided by minus minus 47 into 1.67 minus 47.167 so you will calculate this so minus into minus plus it is 47.167 into 20 minus of open bracket so 24 into 5 24 into 5 close bracket i am getting 823 divided by minus 47.167 so I'm getting minus 17 point minus 17 point uh, 455 45 okay this uh, I got it okay uh, let me is it correct I hope so it is correct right if any mistake is there in the calculation of the elements please uh, let me know if I'm making any mistakes right okay this is fine 17.45 I'm getting right 47.16 so i have i made any mistake because in the textbook they we are getting different answer here mm, this they are getting plus 47.176 let me have I made any mistake here let me check it minus 24 into 48 minus of 1 into minus 20 it's correct divided by minus 24 it's correct only let they are getting positive here in the textbook well, maybe they are wrong or let me check it once again me i should not go wrong so let cross verify this minus 24 into 48 minus of uh, minus of 1 this is one right so minus of 1 into minus 20 it's correct minus of 1 into minus 20 divided by minus 24 it's correct let me calculate this once again right so minus open bracket minus 24 into 48 
so minus into minus that is plus 21 to 20 divided by minus 24 yes so it is plus so i have made a mistake here it is plus calculate this this is plus 47 something else plus 47 point so while calculating be careful i should not go wrong anyhow i am keeping textbook as reference here so i got it so plus 47.167 so now calculate this element it is not minus here it is plus 47.16 into minus 20 so we will be getting this let me calculate this right this one so plus 47.16 into minus 20 minus of uh, minus 24 into minus 5 divided by plus 47 and this is plus 47 so we will calculate this once again so open bracket 47.167 into minus 20 uh, minus open bracket minus 24 into minus 5 divided by 47.167 so i am getting this one as minus 22 minus 22.54 so please be careful while calculating right so three elements three elements two elements two elements this is one element or over so now it is fine everything is fine i hope uh, i have identified the mistake what mistake i have made right so next our duty is to just observe only the first column elements of the root array don't worry about other elements only first column just observe here we already came to know system is unstable but what they are telling for the system found to be unstable determine the number of roots of the characteristic equation in the right half of the s plane how many roots are lying in the right half of the s plane that information is conveyed by the first column elements of the root array so we have to check the number of sign changes plus one to plus one there is no sign change plus one to minus two, yes there is one sign change here right one sign change then right let me write it one sign change then minus 24 to plus yes minus 2 plus this is plus, minus 24 this is plus 47 sign change from minus to plus yes another sign change then plus 2 minus plus 47 minus so there is a sign change here also from minus to minus there is no sign change minus 22.5 minus 5 minus to minus it is not a sign change because if it is minus 2 plus it is sign change so totally how many sign changes 1 2 3 3 sign changes number of sign changes nice sign change just observe the first column elements of the root array it will give the number of sign changes if there are no sign changes in the first column of the root array system is stable right if all the elements in the first column of the root array are positive then system is stable right so number of sign changes is three so this information is there are three roots lying in the right of the s plane right this is s plane sigma j omega means three roots will be coming in the right half of s plane this is right half of s plane and this is left half of s plane so three roots will be coming here right so see this is fifth order equation out of which three roots will be lying in the right half of the s plane so remaining two roots i am not worried because i want how many roots are lying in the right half of the s plane if any one of the root is lying in the right half of the s plane system is unstable right we will not worry about the other roots so since the number of sign changes is three so three roots three roots lie in the right half of s plane right half of s plane this is a short form will write right half of s plane simply i will be using this right so but i have expanded here since so three roots lie in the right half of the s plane so given system is unstable it is unstable is it fine party is over so i have answer you can verify unstable and three sign changes we got it right so we'll go to the part b part b so s power 4 plus 2 s cube plus 10 s square plus 8 s plus 3 equal to 0 so this part b we have taken this one s power 4 plus 2 s cube plus 10 s square plus 8 s plus 3 okay just observe 
all the powers of s are present s power 4 s power 3 s power 2 s power 1 s power 0 if any of the s power term is missing you have to write 0 into s square suppose this s square is missing i have to write 0 into s square right but in the given problem it is all the powers of s are present then observe the coefficients yes all are positive here having the same sign so necessary condition is satisfied necessary condition is satisfied so system may be stable i will not tell it is stable system may be system may be stable then i have to go for proving the sufficient condition go for system may be stable so go for proving sufficient condition so go for proving sufficient condition So sufficient condition I can prove in two ways either I can find out the roots of the given characteristic equation or else I can make use of the root criterion. So here, here I will be using root criterion. So we will form the root area root table. Root table will form. Yes. Let me change the ink color. Yes. We will list out the we will form the root the table s power 4 s cube s square s power 1 s power 0 yes so first fill up the first row odd term coefficients so one next leave this this is 10 then leave this this is three constant term odd term coefficients right this 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 the next even term coefficients two eight two and eight observe here three elements are there next two elements are there next two one one next second row also consists of two elements two two next one one right okay which is constant term here three so you can observe here three will come here directly i will write here first this one right like this i hope you are getting what i am doing right three will come here this is not minus uh, okay i hope you are getting what i have done right three will come here this diagonal the next i will calculate this element so how to calculate 2 into 10 let me write it here 2 into 10 minus 1 into 8 divided by 2 so let me calculate this how much i will get let me see 10 to 20 minus 8 to 8 uh, i will get 12 divided by 2 so i am getting 6 already this is calculated leave it then next two elements two elements only one element will be coming here we are going to calculate this element so 6 into 8 6 into 8 minus 2 into 3 divided by 6 so we will calculate this how much you will get 8 6 to 48 minus 2 3 just 6 uh, 42 will get divided by 6 so i am getting 7 here and once again this is constant term will come 3 here no need to calculate this right so diagonal right okay then observe all the first column elements of the root array observe the uh, first column elements this is first column elements of the root array right so first column elements first column elements of root array or root table so all are positive here all the elements all the elements in the first column in the first column of the root array first column of the root array are positive are positive so given system is stable so given system is stable all are positive means there are no sign changes right if there are no sign changes means all the roots are lying in the left half of the s plane so the given system is stable right the next part if any doubts you can ask me right so it is stable then uh, part c and d you take it as homework take the screenshot right then i will take up party e, right i will take up party e, and uh, i will go to the next topic after taking party e. so i will take up party e here party e. c d is homework for you people so s power 6 plus 2 s to the power of 5 plus 8s to the power of 4 plus 15s cube plus 
plus 20s square plus 16s plus 16 equal to 0 okay uh, i'll solve this so observe all the powers of s are present 6 5 4 3 2 1 0 yes all the powers of s are present then observe the sign of the coefficients yes all are positive here so necessary condition necessary condition is satisfied necessary condition is satisfied so given system may be stable given system may be stable i am telling maybe right go for proving the prove the sufficient condition prove sufficient condition prove sufficient condition once again i am repeating sufficient condition means i can solve the roots of the given characteristic equation or else another one is even the easy method is you go for root criteria right so we will form the root array or root table root table root array or root table okay s yes, power 6 s yes, power 5 s yes, power 4 s yes, power 3 s yes, power s square s to the power of 1 s yes, to the power of 0 yes we will list out in the first row we will fill up the odd term coefficients 1 8 1 8 leave this 20 then leave this last constant term is 16 observe it. this is the constant term right for constant term just you make tick mark and keep it because okay i'll tell you why the next fill up the even term coefficients 2 leave this 15 leave this next 16 observe here it is also 16 so this is constant term because right this is 16 this is 6 so in order to differentiate between these two i have just marked 16 a constant term right four elements are there next three elements next three elements are going to come next two elements two elements one element one element right okay just i will pass on this this constant term just i'll fill up this observe here it will come leave this row and here i will get 16 only constant term diagonal right it will come like this so i fill up next we'll calculate this element so 2 into 8 let me do it directly 2 into 8 16 minus 15 1 to 15 divided by 2 16 minus 15 is 1 by 2 right 0. 0.5 so it is 0. 0.5 is it fine then next we will calculate this element 2 into 20 22 to 40 minus 16 minus 16 divided by 2 so 40 minus 16 we will do it 40 minus 16 so i am going to get 24 divided by 2 so i am getting 12 here so this element already done next three elements the next two elements will be coming here calculate this 0.5 into 15 let me write it 0.5 into 15 minus 2 into 12 minus 2 into 12 divided by 0.5 so we'll calculate this how much you are going to get so open bracket 0 0.5 into 15 minus open bracket 12 to 24 24 equal to divided by 0.5 sorry once again i have made some mistake here okay once again i will do 0.5 into 15 minus 12 to 24 so minus 16.5 divided by 0.5 so i am getting minus uh, 33 so let me write it here minus 33 i am getting next we will calculate this element so constant term is coming here next we'll see next okay three element oh, next this element you have to calculate so leave this above 0.5 into 16 minus 12 to 16 divided by 0.5 so calculate this so open bracket 0 0.5 into 16 minus uh, 2 into 16 so I am getting minus 24 divided by 0.5. So I am getting minus 48 here. So three elements, three elements, only two elements. Don't calculate. This another two elements will come here. Observe here. This constant term had come here, right? So this is constant term. Next, review this, it will come here. 16. 
right i am i hope you are getting l shape ulta l shape reverse l shape right but you have to leave one row leave this row and come here and write it so we'll calculate this element right already we have filled this so uh, minus 33 into 12 minus of uh, 0.5 into 0.5 into minus 48 divided by minus 33 so we'll calculate this open bracket minus 33 into 12 close bracket minus of open bracket 0.5 into minus 48 so i am getting minus 372 divided by minus 33 so i am getting 11.27 11.27 right okay fine then next we will calculate this two elements two elements. next only one element this will calculate before that i will write this constant it will come here this one is over you can observe diagonal 16 is coming here right so we will calculate this element how to calculate this element okay we will see here this we have to calculate so 11.27 11.27 into minus 48 minus of open bracket minus 33 into 16 minus 33 into 16 divided by this 11.27 so we'll calculate this so 11.27 into minus 48 close bracket minus of open bracket minus 33 into 16 so i am getting it as minus 12.96 divided by 11.27 so i am getting it as minus 1.149 right minus 1.14 right okay observe here four elements next three elements three elements two elements two elements one element one element I hope you are getting the structure here. So how many elements are there? Four elements here. Next, three elements here. Three elements in this row. Next, two elements. Two elements. One element. One element. Observe here. Four, three, three, two, two, one, one. This is the structure you will get. Right? You can observe for other problems also after solving. Next, observe the first column elements of the root array. So I will change the ink color. So you will observe the first column elements of the root array. So I will try to find out the number of sign changes plus 1 to plus 2 no sign change plus 2 to plus 0.5 no sign change plus 0.5 to plus 2 minus yes there is a sign change here one sign change so let plus 2 minus then next minus 2 plus yes another sign change is there here minus 2 plus next plus 2 minus once again another sign change is there then minus 2 plus once again another sign change it means four sign changes number of sign changes is four number of sign changes in the first column elements of the root array number of sign changes is equal to 4 this by observing the first column element of the root array number of sign changes is 4 so 4 roots 4 roots lie lie in the right half of s plane so given system is unstable so given system is given system is unstable so after solving this one or two or three problems we came to know that we have to observe the elements of the first column of the root array the number of sign changes what they are giving what actually the number of sign changes they are telling yeah, just by looking at the first column elements of the root array i will come to know how many roots are lying in the right of the s plane but i will not give which roots those are so this root array will not tell us which roots but it will tell how many roots are lying in the right half of the s plane that is very important that is sufficient for us also right so if the roots lie in the left half of the s plane all the roots then system is stable if all the roots lie in the right half of the s plane system is unstable if, if any of the roots are lying on the imaginary axis non-repeated roots then system is marginally stable these things conditions we know right i hope uh, you have understood the significance of the root criteria right just by uh, inspection uh, how many roots are lying we will come to know the root uh, table will give us that information right and that is indicated by number of sign changes right i hope so you came to know just observe here the answer we have written e unstable and four sign changes this is over i have solved this right b and these two are homework for you people c and d answer is given here unstable two sign changes so you take this c and d as homework i hope you will be doing this and answer is given here right next we will proceed it's 10 42 time is there okay
yes is the system shown in the figure 5.1 is stable or not i want to find out right okay okay we will find out so this is g of s this into this they are in series cascade so multiply this is g of s and this is h of s so what is g of s let me write it g of s just multiply these two so 10 divided by 10 into 1 10 divided by s into s minus 1 into 2s plus 3 just multiply these two blocks in cascade that is g of s right then h of s is 1 so it is unit uh, unity negative feedback system right unit unit feedback so unity feedback system are negative right so you know that uh, for transfer function c of s by r of s is g of s divided by 1 plus g of s into h of s g divided by 1 plus gh right g of s into h of s but i want only denominator because this is a characteristic equation right so let me take only this characteristic equation so characteristic equation is 1 plus g of s into h of s equal to 0 first we will get the characteristic equation then we will uh, look at the characteristic inspection whether necessary condition is satisfied or not then we'll go for forming the root array then we'll observe the elements of the first column of the root array after observing the first elements of the first column of the root array then we'll tell whether system is given system is stable or not right okay this is the procedure what we are doing first get the characteristic equation 1 plus g of s into h of s equal to 0 right so 1 plus h of s is 1 so 1 plus g of s 10 divided by s into s minus 1 into 2s plus 3 g of s and h of s is 1 right so 1 plus sorry here 1 plus equal to 0 so we will take the lcm so this if this goes this side it will be 0 so let me write it after taking lcm what i will be getting s into s minus 1 into 2s plus 3 right s into s into 2s plus 3 plus 10 equal to 0 i will be getting is it fine right this will go that side and it will be 0 so s into s right we will multiply it and we will get the characteristic equation s square minus this i multiply s square minus s yes not 5 s square minus s into 2s plus 3 plus 10 equal to 0 so we will simplify once again so s square into 2s 2s cube plus s square into 3 3s square minus s into 2s minus 2s square minus into plus minus s into 3 3s plus 10 equal to 0 so s cube so what i'll be getting finally 2s cube s square terms one side 3s square minus 2s square it is just s square then minus 3s 3 minus 2 1 is fine it is correct plus 10 equal to 0 so we got this this is the characteristic equation we will take this in the next slide 2s cube plus s square minus 3s plus 10 equal to 0 so this is the characteristic equation sorry one minute 0 right not 10 this is 0 yes next observe all the powers of s are present s cube s square s power s all the powers of s observe the coefficients yes coefficient of s power 1 coefficient of s power 1 is negative right it is negative so necessary condition fails so necessary condition fails if necessary condition fails means given system is unstable given system is unstable yes they are asking whether system is stable or not i came to know that it is unstable but no need to go for proving the sufficient condition but how many roots if it is asked how many roots are lying in the right let me please add to this question how many roots are lying in the right of the s plane so we'll form the root array root array or root table if it is not us please do it root table then i'll change the ink color okay s cube s square s power one s power 0 all the powers of s i have taken so first fill up odd term coefficients 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 the next uh, even term coefficients 1 leave this 10 
so 10 is constant so tick mark so that it will help us to identify right the next two elements next only one element one element so you observe here leave this row and 10 will be coming here diagonal right this is over we'll calculate only this element so 1 into minus 3 is minus 3 minus of 10 into 2 20 divided by 1 so i'll be getting minus 23 here so two elements two element one element one element over right then observe the elements of the first column of the root array what well, this is first column elements right so number of sign changes number of sign changes how many number of sign changes can anyone tell unmute yourself and tell how many number of sign changes are there in the first first column of the root array can anyone please unmute yourself and tell how many number of sign changes how many two two yes two. Good. yes good good two. two yes from here to here plus one to right this is one sign change from minus to this so totally two sign changes are there good very good so the what is the information i'm getting if there are two sign changes means two roots are lying in the right half of the s plane two roots are lying two roots are lying in the right half of s plane right half of s plane so given system is unstable so given system is unstable so why we have from root array means i want to find out how many number of uh, roots are lying in the right half of the s plane right so number of sign changes will give me the number of roots lying in the right half of the s plane it's already 1048 okay let me continue with the next topic just i will tell difficulty one and i will solve if time permits i will take up the numerical on this right okay uh yes difficulties in the formulation of the root array or root table in the previous uh, we have solved right there may sometimes the root test may fail there may be a breakdown of the root test so in some cases what are those cases are special cases or what are those special cases also we call it as difficulties right either well, at that time the root the test uh, root test will fail so at whenever the root test fails or breakdown of root test occurs we have to overcome them how to solve them we'll see one by one difficulty one also called difficulty one also called as case one or special case one there are two cases two difficulties are two cases case one case two special case one we'll call it as of the root test so yes we'll observe what is the special case here the first element in any row of the root array is zero while rest of the row has at least one non-zero element what is the meaning of this i will tell you just observe here let me go to the previous slide yes i have a space here yes suppose this is the root array i have some elements here uh, okay whatever it is s power for something like this one two three s cube i have okay uh, three five something i am taking don't worry right two s square row yes here zero next one for example yes you can observe s power one i don't know okay observe here all the in first row all the elements are present in second row all the elements are present in third row all the elements are present but the first element in the first column if it is zero here i am not worried right if any of the element in the first column of the root array is zero means this is the first column right so we should concentrate only on the first column right if any of the element in the first column of the root array is zero then root test fails there right root test fails this we call it as difficulty one difficulty one right so root test fails here so what to do at that time if root test fails right so how to overcome it and how to solve why why root test fails i'll tell you because if i want to calculate this next element s power one element so observe here how to calculate 0 into 5 minus 3 into 1 divided by 0 divided by 0 right so we will be getting infinite right divided by 0 so root test will fail divided by 0 i cannot do it so i will not i cannot i am unable to calculate the next element so how to solve this this we call it as difficulty 1 or special case 1 difficulty 1 simply case one also not special case just case one difficulty one or case one means what is that case one or difficulty one whenever one of the element in the first column of the root array this is first column right first column of the root array first column of root array if one of the element in the first column of the root array is zero not all the elements remaining elements should be there second case is all the elements is zero that we'll see it next if any of the 
if any of the one element in the first column of the root array is zero, then that is difficulty one or case one, right? The same thing has been told here. The first element in any of the root array is zero, while the rest of the row has at least one non-zero element. This we call it as difficulty one, a special case one. How to overcome it? Difficulty can be overcome. So I will not explain all these things. It is better that I will take one numerical and uh, I will explain this. Just I will tell you how much you understand, you understand here. Uh, because we will be solving problems based on this. Replace the first zero element by a small positive number, right? So replace this zero element by a small positive number. Let me call that small positive number as epsilon. Epsilon is a small positive number. Small positive small positive number and epsilon is almost tending towards zero it is it should be zero only epsilon is tending towards but we'll treat that epsilon as a small positive number please keep in the mind right this epsilon so replace zero by epsilon <coughs> first step replace this zero element by the small positive number epsilon second then yes you can go on calculating after replacing this by epsilon calculate the next element in terms of epsilon and further proceed and observe the first column elements of the root array and yes if i observe the first column elements if all are positive then i'll say that system is stable but whenever difficulty one difficulty two comes means whenever difficulty one or difficulty two we have not seen so it comes means the system cannot be stable at all it can be either unstable or marginally stable right whenever difficulty one it cannot be stable if in spite of if all the elements in the first column of the root array are positive also there are no sign changes but if difficulty one or difficulty two comes means then i'll say that system is either it cannot be stable at all it may be marginally stable or unstable that we have to see is it see right okay you'll see it mm, okay it is unstable only most of the times the same thing i have written here so replace the first zero element by a small positive number epsilon and proceed with the formulation of the uh, rest of the root array form the root array then examine the signs of the elements in the first column of the completed root array as epsilon tending towards zero right uh, substitute epsilon tending towards zero and observe the sign changes the number of sign changes in the elements of the first column of the root array indicates the number of roots of the characteristic equation in the right of the explain and this board i have made this is very important even if there are no sign changes the system is unstable because difficulty one had come so if difficulty or special case had come means it cannot the system cannot be stable please keep in the mind even if there are no sign changes in the first column elements of the root array the system is unstable and there are roots on the imaginary axis right if it has to be there are roots this is the indication there are roots on the imaginary axis if there are non-repeated roots the system is marginally stable if there are repeated roots on the imaginary axis system is unstable you know this already we have discussed right if there are non repeated just i am repeating once again if there are non repeated roots on the imaginary axis system is marginally stable if there are repeated roots on the imaginary axis system is unstable please keep in the mind right okay or if there are any roots in the lying in the right of the s plane then also system is unstable okay uh, i think uh, 1055 i think we will stop here only difficulty one the next okay this is one way of overcoming it this is first method replace zero by epsilon and uh, formulate the root array continue proceed with array and observe the first column elements that is one thing another method second method how to overcome this difficulty one obtain a modified characteristic equation in terms of z by replacing s in the original characteristic equation by one by z suppose i have characteristic equation like this s cube plus s square just i am taking an example i don't know whether this works out or not 2s plus 1 equal to 0 suppose difficulty 1 will come let me assume that difficulty 1 is coming by using this characteristic equation. i don't know whether it's coming or not but i am assuming right so at that time replace s by 1 by z means replace s by 1 by z this is second way of doing it replace s by 1 by z means 1 by z whole cube 1 by z whole square plus 2 into 1 by z plus 1 equal to 0 so i will get the characteristic equation in terms of in the z plane this is in the s plane and this characteristic equation we call it it is in the z plane right so multiply throughout by z cube throughout this equation right by z cube so what i'll be getting if i multiply by z cube one plus uh, here z square and z cube means z i will get so two times so z cube by z z square i'll be getting plus one into z cube so rearrange it so z cube plus 2z square plus z 
plus 1 equal to 0. Now I am getting this is the characteristic equation in terms of z. In terms of z. So this we call it as modified characteristic equation. Modified because earlier this is the original characteristic equation. This we have converted in terms of z plane. So this is modified modified characteristic equation. So z cube z 2 z square z. And now you know whether it is in either in s or z. We know how to form the root array and verify, right? Form the root array and proceed. Form the root array or root table and observe the first column elements. Once again, this rule applies. Even if there are no sign changes, the system is unstable only, right? And there are roots on the imaginary axis. I hope you understood the rules. The next we'll solve uh, a few numericals with respect to difficulty one, and then we'll try to understand difficulty two, and we'll solve numericals on difficulty two also. Right now we will wind. Okay, we'll not solve this numerical. You take it. Screenshot. I'll stop recording.